Hey, we're in. <laughs> hey, we're in City Park right now, and today you're learning my all-time favorite trick, the Webster. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Step one is the front handspring. Some basic things that you'll need are good arm strength, uh, like a handstand, and good back flexibility, like a good bridge position. Uh, also, a front walkover will help, but it's not really necessary. Once you start, you'll want to get some momentum, like a round off. You want to place your hands in front of you, uh, not straight down or behind you, because you want to block, because if you put them straight down or behind you, you'll probably fall forward. Once you put your hands in front of you, you'll kick your back leg up. This is your lifting leg. This leg is what gives you all of your height. It's the most important, and especially for the Webster. Put your hands down in front of you and lift your back leg as hard as you can. Once your lifting leg uh, swings to the highest point it can go, your takeoff leg, you'll push off of that and snap it up to meet your lifting leg at the highest it can go. <laughs> and that snapping motion will drive your feet over to land. Also make sure to keep your back arched. You don't want to hunch over whenever you're uh, taken off because you'll like fall forward and it's not good. Uh, it's okay to land crouched at first, um, but slowly try to work on your technique and work it up until you're landing straight up. At that point you can move on to standing. So, everything from the running and spray still applies to the standing one, except now. Except now, you'll have to really dial in your technique to really do it consistently. Once you do, you're ready to move on to the running Webster. <laughs> so, for the running Webster, uh, same thing still applies from the handspring, except instead of keeping your hands down and keeping your chest low, You'll remove your hands and you'll lift your chest up with your back leg. Um, as well, well for your arms, uh, some people like to throw them out in front of them like this, like a front tuck. Uh, I personally like to just throw them back, kind of like a Russian front. But uh, either way, make sure that you're keeping your chest up and you're lifting it with your back leg. Alright, so as with any trick, you want to make sure that you properly set before you tuck. So same thing with the Webster. Whenever you lift your back leg, or your lifting leg, you want to lift your chest, your arms, but before you tuck, you want to make sure that you push off, snap your takeoff leg to your lifting leg, tuck to land. But uh, most important thing is not to tuck too early. A lot of people cut their height, they're scared of getting like too high off the ground, so they'll go in, they'll lift their back leg, hurry up and, hurry up and tuck to try to get the trick over with. Uh, but slowly try to work on your technique uh, and try to take less and less steps into the running Webster so you only have to take like one or two steps into it and you're landing straight up consistently. And once you're able to do that, you can move on to the standing Webster. Alright, so on to the part you've been waiting for. Standing Websters. Alright, there are four main setups you can use. Uh, I personally like to go with no setup. I just like to crank it out out of nowhere. People don't expect it. Uh, the main ones you can use are no setup, a loser setup, scissor step, and just a little kick up. Also, another little thing a lot of people don't think about is spotting forward. So a lot of people when they're learning Webster's, especially when they're learning handsprings, obviously, look down at the ground before they take off. For standing Webster's and even for running Webster's, uh, you kind of want to break that habit of keeping your chest down and the way to kind of help that is to spot forward. So that'll kind of help you. You want to spot forward until the very last moment when you have to tuck. And that'll kind of help you keep your chest up and make sure that you get enough height. So as with any trick, remember that you can go back to any step that you've learned until you feel comfortable to move on to the next. Remember that it's not a race and better, good technique is always better than just going for it, especially for the long run. So make sure you get very comfortable with the previous step before you move on to the next. That's it. We're rolling. We're rolling? Rolling. We're rolling. Rolling.
Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> I got shit in my eye. All right. Uh, that was embarrassing. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. And go out and practice, because life is short and probably going to die soon. Say something smart. Something smart? <laughs> How do you do it? Hmm? How are you so perfect? Um. I like to pour my milk first. And then the cereal. That's probably why.